Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. Um, so now it's time to go through Casa del Sol, I suppose, which I'm probably butchering in the pronunciation as per the usual, but I'm expecting that there's not going to be anything super important here. talk to this guy? Eh, it doesn't look like it. He's a little bit too far away. <laughs> as long as he doesn't dent up the other guy's plane. you before High Digger threw you into the water as well. <laughs> oh yeah, there's treasure down here. Extra bonus. I think one of these is still the fire ring. No, peace ring. It's a good thing they happen to be free because... I mean, well, what would he have done to stop me after all, but... Percent, prevents Berserk and Confusion. This is a pretty solid uh, set of status protections to have. And Strength and Magic isn't the best bonus, but at least... That means it'll be slightly useful for everyone anyway, so... I mean, something like Dexterity would obviously still be better, probably, but... Motor Drive, um... Oops, didn't want to look at those. Uh, so that's the weapon for Tifa. Go the Fast. I'm not sure what that means, whether it's hasted, maybe she just gets an even larger speed boost than the plus 30 she gets from the other thing she has. Deadly Waste. I'll take more of that. Never complain about having more Deadly Waste. I mean, unless I'm running a nuclear reactor or something, but that's okay, we've got Mako. Uh, so, is there anything stopping from me leaving right now? Yeah, I'm wondering what that save point is even for. Like, I could just walk outside. Bar. Uh, good luck snowboarding around here, guy. I hope you get some clothes before then. Because otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, I already talked to you. Okay, I can't actually talk to the bartender. exactly did you come from? Uh, Alright, so Carbon Bangle is really good. Four slots is very situational. Having more Molotovs could be useful. The Platinum Bangle is the real new thing here. It gives more luck than the four slots. Oops. And it has three slots of double growth. Hmm. I kind of want one just because I don't have any and I can afford it, it's not that expensive. I don't know what its main benefit is at this point. I feel like I'd want to equip the rune armlet fairly often. Okay, so this gives some magical evasion and physical evasion. It seems to be well balanced on the whole. Personally, I'd prefer just stacking something or getting defense, but who knows, maybe I'll want to use it. The only advantage the four slots has over this thing is... Well, it's eponymous four slots. Its defensive stats are far worse, and it's... 
Uh, its stat boost is thoroughly outclassed too. But I didn't even know that guy was there. I thought I didn't know there was any shop in the bar. Can't talk to these people. <laughs> Gotta love being able to do that. You can't kick it in any other direction. The only thing you can do with the ball is hit red with it. It's kind of cute how his tail bats it back to the two kids. Who are you again? Huh, that spot of water on the tree, or what, no, it's not on the tree because I can cover it. What on earth is that blue spot? I can, it's not materia, I can't pick it up. Oh well. This guy sells materia, I think. Anything that I care about. Maybe revive? Maybe getting a second revive would be nice. I certainly don't want any of that stuff. A second seal could theoretically be useful, but I don't imagine I would equip it <laughs> for really much at all. I'm gonna check at the weapon shop, I suppose, if there's a weapon shop. Oh, I don't have any softs at all yet. I'd better stock up on these a little bit. Paralysis wears off pretty quickly, so unless... Well, I mean, I am at the lowest battle speed, though. But paralysis wears off fast enough that generally you wouldn't want to bother with actually manually healing it, but I'm not really expecting... I don't know when I'm going to level this thing, but I may as well buy it now. It's like, I don't even need the revive material that I'm using that much. It's just, I want to level it because life 2 is really good. Uh, I'm not gonna associate with that guy. That could be anybody. Who knows? Maybe a different sailor. to use this in. It's kind of cool that they actually have the ocean sounds just to throw that little detail in, I suppose. But yeah, I definitely needed that rest. I was feeling pretty low after Genova, so... I already talked to you. Let's go down to the beach. Okay, so is Hojo not here because I went to the inn first? That's interesting. That's okay, if you're gonna drown, I can give you CPR. It's a lot easier this time around, so... Yeah, I guess... Red has also disappeared, so I guess when you go to the inn, things start moving forward in the plot, which I don't understand, but... Anyway... Alright, so Yuffie is surprisingly still the lowest leveled character, so she's going to stay in my party for sure. I can't remember how much I've given to everybody else, but I'm not going to put Barrett in the party because, 
Well, I could I could put Barrett in the party, but I would rather put a magical person and a physical person. So let's let's swap Pylian for now. All right, so here's my setup. I gave Yuffie the Wind Slash because I know there's some flying birds in the next area, and unlike a lot of the flying enemies in this game, I think, uh, they're not weak to electricity. In fact, they absorb it, so I want some Wind Element to attack them. And Yuffie's got a weapon that does just that while giving me double grows. That's another thing about what I've set myself up with this time around, is that I also gave Red the Rune Armlet so that I have double growths on him too. Because I, I don't expect this area to be like super challenging, so I just want to try and level up some of my materia that is that I don't really want to lag behind. I've also put ice on Yuffie so that I have another option for say the Green Dragons in Nibelheim when I get there. I really want to have basically a level 2 earth materia and a level 2 ice materia at the very least for that part of the game. So, I also want to get up to Cure 2 as quickly as possible, because that's a very useful thing to have in the long run. And Dispel, who knows when that could be important, so... Uh, I'm gonna keep leveling up this Destruct. And Fire as well, because I, I don't have a ton of Fire either, which is what also the reason why I want to level up Ice. Lots of my Lightning Materia has at least a little bit in it to it, but... This is the only ice materia that has anything really, so... Um, I'm also putting Revive, the one with low AP, on to the double growth weapon. Hopefully just give that one a boost so that I can get life 2 as quickly as possible on this. And level up my time materia because slow is really important. Other than that, it's their normal setup basically. Red also has the diamond clip, which is a nice upgrade basically just a straight upgrade, because I don't really care about uh, absorbing HP that much right now. We've, we've also got Choco Mog, which is another option for those birds, paired with Osmos so that he doesn't run himself in, out of MP immediately after using it. And then Cloud has E-Skill to give him as many options as he'll ever need, really. Major Magic is pretty solid at this point in the game. The other revive, because I also want to level up this thing. Restore, and gravity all. It's a, it's a solid thing to open up encounters with. Not that impressive right now as when I only have Demi, because it's not going to be like one hit KOing every single bird in the fight, but it's still a nice thing to have. Alright, let's see how much progress I can make. Alright, let's turn my camera in the one direction I can turn it. There's that mountain pass that I'm going to have to traverse. We can't go past the water yet, so... I probably shouldn't have turned the camera. I might have to turn it all the way around again. Um, I'm not going to summon for the one enemy in this fight. I wonder if I could put it to sleep, actually. Uh, it doesn't work. I was hoping I might be able to put it to sleep and then prevent other things from appearing. Is it weak to that? Because that was a lot of damage. That was also a lot of damage. Weak against gravity, weak against wind. Yes, it is weak against wind. Alright, let's just get Red's HP back. I'm not sure which one I should attack, but I'm thinking I should get rid of the back one because it's pretty powerful. I'll save it. I've only got like one charge of this, don't I? No, I think I have two. I might want to drop one now and then drop one again later. Once the little guys come out. Yeah, that was some pretty solid damage. Almost certainly more than Major Magic would have been. Alright. If you're all weak to wind, let's hit you with a Chocomog and see how well that goes. 
If I'm really lucky, it might drop this one straight into uh, Orphing range. Oh, that was way more than dropping it to Morphing Range. It was basically a one-hit KO. <laughs> well, either way, it cleaned them up pretty fast. Kalyuka's almost reached that level 22. Phoenix Down and Hourglass. Hmm. Phoenix Down is obviously pretty solid, no matter what. What does this... Is this hourglass actually going to be useful? I'm assuming it's stop. Cast yeah, stop, yeah. Who knows, it might come in handy. So I think it's more likely that I'll just actually cast stop directly, but I don't have it yet. Huh, don't remember that penguin. So, let's see, does... Demi... Oh, well, there's also a bird here. I don't know if Demi and... Okay, it looks like the bird resisted uh, Demi, probably, so... That hurt. I'm almost thinking I should put some thunder defenses on myself, but it didn't hurt that much, so I'm not going to bother right now. 36. It probably used some of its MP for that. Oh. That was death. Let's check out this bird. 895, weak against earth. Alright. You also just used a magical-ish attack, so that's Osmos from you too. I guess all three of them are birds now that I think about it. Um, I actually have some earth on Pylee, so I think I'll probably just use that. 158, weak against fire, weak against ice. Okay. I also have some of that. Look at all these spells I have, just because I'm trying to level them. I can, I can deal with using a soft, because I just bought a whole pile. I'm hoping this doesn't kill. Good. Got within a good range. Hopefully it doesn't attack Yuffie. Come on. Okay, good. She didn't counterattack, so it doesn't actually matter, but that was still irritating. Wake this bird again. Does this do enough to kill? Good. Let's see what I get. Ether. Never say no to that, but... not something I'm gonna jump for joy about, but... If she could attack normally, that would be perfect. I think if I use a spell that... Let's see... Just attacking it. more damage than I was hoping for. Seven. That was less damage than I was hoping for. Basically doesn't help at all. Also consumes about the MP. Jump dodge it. Six steel. Badgerous Claw. I'm pretty sure that does stone. In other words, I probably won't use it ever, but... Slow Numb. So basically the same status effect that they were inflicting against me. This is a very pleasant overworld theme. But it's about to end, and go into a different pleasant theme. <laughs> um, 
Let's just save here while I still can. Hello, old guy. Yep, I sure did. I mean, it is pretty dangerous to go alone. That's why I have... a thing, but okay. I mean, I guess if they're in your party, they would hint at that a little bit more subtly, probably, but... Alright, I'm gonna drop a Choco Mug on this straight out of the get-go. Who knows, if it kills the bird, confuses the guy in the back, this could work out pretty nicely. Yep, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Now let's sense this guy. 36. So it's basically in morphing range right now, unless that thing decides to kill it. Apparently it's going to poison itself instead, though. Good, they have low defenses. Alright, this is going well enough that I think I'm just going to knock this guy out of confusion. Hopefully Yuffie can do as much damage as she did last time. Don't hit for 17, please. Good. Oh, you can't morph those guys. Good to know, I suppose. I guess I'll slow it. Then I'll sled fang it. This thing, this thing's pretty tough physically, so I'm not expecting it to kill it with these attacks. In fact, it's not even really enough healing to heal red properly, but 400. Weak against Earth. I can also Osmos this thing. I should, probably should do that. Yeah, that, those are some defenses. Also slowed apparently. Not sure how that happened. Okay, so that's C shot attack. Oh yeah, I actually got that 114. Well, this is a job for fast forward, man. Stealing is kind of insane in this game, it just doesn't work. Oh boy, an antidote. So glad I spent all that time doing that. Yeah, I don't think this can work. It resists W2, I'm sure, so... Looks like I can get an antidote, though. The one I stole from it. Boy, that was so useful. Alright, that required some serious effort, and it gets me a weapon that I already have. I mean, it's a good weapon that I already have, but it's still just going to go into the selling bin because there's nothing I can do with a second weapon for someone in this game. Also, this just in, Cloud broke a thousand HP. Wow, you'd think I would have gotten off the screen from there, but apparently not. Alright, Red's gonna need to heal something fierce after this, but easy fight. I don't get to try morphing these guys either, which I should probably do. Well, I'll probably just get like a Zeus something from them and... I mean, yeah, it'll be useful, but... Alright, definitely got Osmos with Red. All materia leveled up. That's good. Um, let's feed her a potion right now. Whoa. 
I happen to be standing right on the screen boundary, apparently. Hey look, it's fish. Um, I really hope that I can get some MP from them. Looks like they have absorption powers. Cool, I can get lots from him. Um, let's laser him. Actually, I should have gravity all. That was stupid. Not that it seemed to work that well anyway. Gravity all would have cost less MP and did more damage on the whole. Let's restore the rest of his MP, too. Oh, apparently that killed them all. Didn't expect that, but okay. Clear Tranquil. So they've all learned their second level 1 limit. None of them got to level 2, though. As soon as I get closer to here, I'm gonna have Cloud use an ether at this point. I'm not too worried about running out, and I think there's something coming up here. Oh. I could have sworn there was something there, but I guess it's just those guys. I don't know why I remembered. Whoops. Wrong way. Don't need to go there. Actually, can I get down to where Kylie and Kalioka are? Sari has no encounters anyway, I don't think so. Obviously pretty terrible if uh, Barret's reacting the way he is. I'm not going to use a tent here. If I hadn't messed up earlier, I would have just used a tent here instead of using an ether. Alright, as I recall, you just want to mash in one of the directions. I'm not a hugely fast masher, but then again, this mini game is fairly easy, so... And for some reason counterintuitive, because you really want to fail falling off the bridge. Wiser staff, alright. I really gotta check what that motor drive does, too. Red has also broken 1,000 HP. Um, let's go grab this chest. W machine gun now. I've got three weapons to check out that have nothing to do with my current party. You know, I should really just do this now. <laughs> before I forget about it. So the W machine gun is dexterity plus 50, which for Garish is absolutely enormous. Like, his dexterity right now is 8. Come on. Like, 50 dexterity gives him so many extra turns, it's not even funny. Also double gross. And for you, you have the motor drive. Go the fast. It's your double growth weapon. No fewer slots than before. Um, oh, the only time I might not want Dexterity plus 50 is if I'm going to be using elemental attacks. But for encounters, definitely. And even not for encounters, probably. Like, for actual bosses, probably. Um, so let's see. You have, right now, 72 Dexterity with the Mithril Claw. And with the Motor Drive, you have... 117 dexterity. Yeah, that 
That's incredibly fast. Again, the only real difference is that uh, the motor drive doesn't have a linked slot that allows me to use elemental attacks, which is super important on the whole. So, it's also more powerful, though. It's still certainly usable. Um, I'll just throw the Mithril Claw back on for now. But being able to double your attack power against practically any boss in the game from with the elemental attacks is just so good. Wiser Staff drains MP. That's all. That's a, another really good effect. It's a gimme, of, a gimmicky effect, but it's a really good one. And now. I pressed the right button this time. Alright, let's... Aw. Still, still no upgrades for anyone other than Cloud. That's kind of surprising. I've fought a fair number of things by now. It's possible that it's because I've been cycling my party. And I've been going through a lot of story, so it feels like I've been doing more than I actually have. I think that's far enough. Alright, let's grab my thingy, my bob. Both of these are really good, I think. Vaccine, okay, no, that that was merely okay. Could be really useful in some circumstances, but... Um, let's go for the Osmos. Yeah, I got back all of its MP, basically. These things have like a thousand HP, I think, so... Alright, I don't really care about getting another Batrix Claw, so I'm just gonna kill them. Inside, I should have petrified the other one, but... If he might be more useful hasting Pylee with his earth magic. Since she's not really using that MP for much else, and... Her physical attacks are really weak here. I don't have any way to use that. I'm just gonna have her menu trick for Pylee. I really should have hit this one instead of hitting the other one, because Matri Magic would have just finished the other one there anyway, probably. No counterattack there. That's kind of unfortunate. Even if it wouldn't have done much. And it doesn't really matter anyways, apparently. Tent. Watch, I probably just gained enough e SP. Well, actually, I didn't see SP gained there, so I don't think I'm getting SP from these enemies at all. Turbo Ether? Alright, this is where ice is almost certain to come in handy, but I'm going to inflict silence first, because I feel like that's probably a good choice. Missed. Alright, she's probably doing double damage. Let's see how much is left on this thing. 922, weak against ice and gravity and water and wind. This probably won't even do much more damage than a regular attack, to be honest. Okay, that was a fair amount more. And it's loaded, of course, which is really good. Yeah, that's not working. Um, 
tweak to Demi, so... Oh. Well, it looks like morphing this thing is going to be a pain in the butt. That hurt. <laughs> I wish I had managed to silence it. Well, in, in all honesty, it probably just can't be silenced, but... I can pretend I got bad luck, and I'm sitting on that apparently. Command counter. Okay, so this allows me to counterattack with a yellow materia. Unfortunately, I answered in last time that it doesn't work with enemy skill, which sucks because that could be great if you could actually choose which each skill you were using. I can't see myself wanting to command counter with anything else that badly <laughs> at this point. Unless I wanted to use command counter morph to avoid enemies dying to the counterattack when I'm trying to morph them, but nah, I'm not going to do that. The great thing to pair it with at this point is death blow. Um, which way do I want to go first? I think I want to go up first, because I gotta lower the bridge over at the thingy mob over here. Thank you! <laughs> I can do it! I just have to believe in myself. Alright, I should probably try to morph at least one of these guys. Alright, so I did 400 to one, 300 to the other. I gotta figure out which one I can set up more easily. Nice dodge. Alright, it might be this one. Gotta cross my fingers that I don't just kill it. There's a good chance I will. Yeah, that was just a bit too much. On the other hand, this is the one that I've sensed, so... Oh gosh. Well, her morph should actually be doing decent damage to this one. And I'll have... Yeah, that was a lot of damage for morph. Don't counter. Ah, gosh dang it. Alright, let's just osmos this guy. And I might as well just hit it with major magic, even though it's mostly a multi-target attack. still going to do more damage than attacking this thing. Wow, good thing you didn't use that when I was trying to morph him earlier. Uh, I'd better cure Kalioka before she actually dies. Though maybe I should have left it for Cloud to do that. Kalioka still has sub-magic power, so... This is still hitting a little bit harder than a physical attack against this tanky thing. I could get more diamond clips from this guy to sell them, but it seems like a massive pain in the butt. Alright, somewhere around here is this thing. Or I can climb up here and say hi to some birdies! Whee! And then kill their parents! Whee! <laughs> so mean. Oh yeah, this is kind of more of a thing. That hurt. Um, so I'd better start hasting people quick. I'll have Kalioka haste herself first so that she can haste everyone else faster. Nishi, you heal yourself so that you don't die. I'm gonna take it that this guy is also vulnerable to Earth. 
Yeah, probably. But it's tankier too, I think. I'm gonna sense it now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to morph this thing. It might be possible. Considering it seems to be halfway between a boss and an actual normal enemy. And Cloud is a rock. No. Just gonna remove my haste too. Did Cloud lose his turn or is he about to act? Okay. He just lost his place in the attacking order. 2700 weak against Earth. I can also get some MP from it, but I'm not low right now. Otherwise, that might actually be pretty helpful. And yeah, since it's heavy, it probably resists wind. Ow. See, the problem is, if I heal her, she loses her perfect dodge. Unless I use a potion, I suppose. Might as well have her heal herself with that, though. Or inflict slow. Ten. Okay. At least I got it quick. With it on slow now, thanks to that greased lightning, I now have easily enough time to heal her up. Now I can start throwing Matra Magic at it. And now that I'm locked into my usual boss setup, with everyone hasted and the boss slowed, this is pretty straightforward. I feel like bosses won't be able to deal with the haste plus slow combo for quite a long time. Roost. You gotta sacrifice your flying type to get health back? Fortunately, I can far out damage that. It'll just play havoc with trying to morph him. Especially since Yuffie's damage is so low. You know, I could probably have Cloud use an Earth Drum or something. Probably isn't the right place to use it. Pidley's been powering up this entire fight. I only paid attention to how much he, he did with the very first quake of the battle. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention beyond that. Oh well. Still get five remedies out of the deal. Camera pans away because they don't have the technology to actually show the animated bridge. Alright, hopefully this has been a pretty solid dungeon for AP growth. I can see, I can see the total of how much I've gotten so far if I check my revive materia. About, about 740 for the double growth things. So that's a pretty decent chunk, and it's still not over. Um, might as well hit the guy's shield actually damage worth a crud. That is a lot of MP. Sixty-two. Things are weak to win, though, so I think she'll probably kill it. Oh, 
Yeah, that's too much. Um, I'm hoping hitting it with a not super effective spell isn't going to kill it. Ah, it did. Dang it. I guess I'll hit it with morph then. Glad that it decided to miss, and Piley apparently decided to crit, which actually puts it in perfect range. Good work, Piley. Cactuar gun. Huh, that's a weapon I don't have, so I'm pretty happy that I managed to morph that out of something. expecting to get another weapon for Barret at this point, assuming that's not a Vincent weapon, which would surprise me to get one this early. Huh, apparently it's not a Vincent weapon either, it's just a thousand damage. I mean, I won't say no. Kill everyone back up again. This dungeon is basically a nice huge pile of free resources for me. This is a good boss to drop Chocomog in. I mean, boss. This is a pretty good battle to drop Chocomog on right off the bat. I know these search crowns don't, uh, work for anything, so... Maybe I can just clean them all out before they even do anything. That sounds like it would be pretty nice. Nope, too slow. Goodbye everything. I'd say that worked out pretty well. leveled up. Alright, tent. Is that a gigantic gun lying against that back wall? I'm not sure what it is, but Vampire Fang times three. I think those are drain. Three. Yep, drain's HP. Ghost hand times three, and those are the Osmos equivalent. I won't check them out. You already did by handing me a bunch of free stuff. Or maybe you didn't notice, I don't know. Mind if I take a shovel too? Nothing in there is super important in the long run, but... Might as well grab it. Um... It's Osmos this bird, because it's probably going to be the first one to die. I know that two attacks is too much. What about an attack and a Matra Magic? I know they have about 600. Bring it, that was also too much. These birds are really, really frail. At least I can't kill with Demi, but... And I might as well just use it on them both. It's not going to do much to the guy in the back, but... It's better than doing nothing to the guy in the back. Gosh dang it. 
<laughs> they keep attacking her. try to put it to sleep. Might as well. Cool. Actually, that was kind of pointless. Now that I think about it, because I have to morph it. Bolt plume. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected, but... Gotta check that it's not going to be like a bolt ring or something like that, because that would be incredibly impressive. In fact, I think, if I recall correctly, those bombs morph for a fire ring. I'm going to give Cloud... I'm going to give Cloud another ether. Just so that I have a bit more chance of morphing those bombs in the last section. Um, so what else was I going to do? I don't think I was going to do anything. Another battle like this. Um, drop Matri Magic on them ASAP. Oh, Piley doesn't have enough. Okay, this is gonna be actually a thing then. Alright, I'll just take out the bird real quick. Let's see if these things give me anything from Osmos. 30. Not a lot. Pretty sure another Matri Magic will kill them all, so... Well, Piley just got enough MP back to heal the party, but... Better than nothing, I suppose. And now that I think about it, uh, I've already hit level 25, which means I'm a quarter through what I can level. Seems a lot farther than I would have expected to be already, but... Alright, I think this is mostly bombs and stuff. I'm gonna try to put them to s Oh, it's just one of these guys. Don't really care much about him. Uh, guess I'll just make sure magic him. I'm really hoping I see a second bomb before I get out of here. Gotta love this jittery camera. <laughs> Why is this even a thing? see if I can put it to sleep, because if I can, that will help a lot with trying to morph it or do anything to it. 
Okay, cool. Um, steal from as well. Shrapnel? Useful, I suppose, but... Alright, let's start by Osmos again. Supposed to be nice, it. I actually don't have any because I can get. Did I actually manage to. Okay, I still haven't defeated him yet, I suppose, but. I think he did a fair amount of damage to this thing, so. Uh, 610, which would make sense. I don't want to pilot because I don't want to poison it. I just hope that sleep doesn't run out in the middle of that moment. I think I can expect a little over 30, I mean, a little under 30 damage with, uh, Kelly of his morph. I've gotta get in one, though. Okay, so I can press the L button to actually look at it. So this will have bring it to 48, and then the next one should bring it to 24. Space Michi 2. I'm not sure if it's more or less risky to wait around another turn. I don't know how the sleeping can't work in this game. Fire fail. Okay, so no fire ring, that's for sure. But. Still useful, I suppose, but it, it's not quite as good. So now I've got a source of fire damage, a source of bolt damage. I've basically got most of the elements covered in case I need to chuck one at an upcoming boss. Alright, North Coral. I'm probably just gonna go out and save right now. Alright, mostly just gained a ton of stuff that episode. Um, so let's see. This revived materia has 1400 AP. So I basically just got 1400 AP for any weapon that's on a double growth weapon or armor. Nothing has gotten like super close to leveling, but it's taken out a pretty big chunk of progress towards a lot of these, and everything else got 700-ish. Seal doesn't really need to be leveled anymore, but, I mean, it was useful there. Alright. I guess that's it for now. See you next time.